What is up and welcome to another video. So today we are going to talk about Bitcoin and the chart doesn't look good guys. And of course, I'm going to share with you as well the reason for this drop and this is not looking good for Bitcoin as well as the rest of the altcoins. So one of the reasons why price is falling is because of the ETF outflows guys. So Fidelity and ARK is showing uh, total net flows of negative 2,200 BTCs, guys. That's yesterday, June 17, and that is affecting the price of Bitcoin. So if you have watched my previous videos about Bitcoin, I've already explained, guys, like on several previous videos about this Wyckoff distribution phase theory. This is the stage where the big players in the market are taking profit and that would affect the price of Bitcoin. In fact, the ideal breakout target of this, if you haven't watched my previous video, is going to be $40,000. But again, I've previously explained that we have a strong support at around $57,000 and we have this zone, guys, the lower zone of this distribution phase which will also act as a key support level will be around 60,000 up to $61,000 for Bitcoin. And right now, this is not looking good, guys. The first level of support right here is already broken. It looks like that the daily candle is closing below this support. And the next support that we need to focus and look at is the 60,000 level guys uh, we don't have much trade within this zone right here and the next key support level will be at around 60 to 61,500 so be extra careful uh, if you are trading altcoins hopefully we'll get some bounce because in the uh, four hour time frame the oscillator is already in the oversold area guys we have actually a bullish divergence that is forming on the daily time frame here so the price is forming lower lows but the or the oscillator rather is forming lower lows while the price is forming higher lows here so hopefully we'll hold this level guys if bitcoin will be able to hold this level then we might see that bounce from this level right here from 64,400. The oscillator is already in the oversold area on the daily time frame. We have bullish divergence, so this is perfect level of support. Hopefully, this will be able to hold, guys. So, looking at the four hour time frame, the price right now is hovering on this equilibrium level. And uh, I have previously discussed that we have a short term support here at 64 700 hopefully we'll can we'll get some bounce at around this level because yesterday as discussed i have actually placed a long position guys on ethereum and as well as etc again all charts on ta are for educational purposes only and should not be considered as a financial advice um looking at the bigger time frame we still have this major support sitting at fifty-seven thousand dollars. right now we are expecting a short-term bounce and the reason why i have long ethereum and etc guys is because we're expecting probably around next week on it ethereum etf so that will likely affect the price of ethereum and that will probably push the price higher if ethereum etf would start trading probably around next week so keep an eye on that news as well so uh, talking about my fair desk trade i am still holding my bitcoin short again this is going to be a swing trade from seventy one thousand up to fifty seven thousand here hopefully we'll be able to get that final target at 57,000. While well, short term, if we can get that short term bounce, then probably Ethereum and ETC would um, bounce faster than Bitcoin. So currently, this trade are in red, but Bitcoin is covering the losses here. 
And also, if you haven't watched my previous video about Ethereum, I have explained that there are several bullish divergences on Ethereum's chart and also a possible bull flag. That is also one of the reasons why I have longed Ethereum, guys. So hopefully we can turn this trade into green in the coming days. Let's hope that the current level of Bitcoin will hold as a support because if this will break down below the equilibrium or the support trend line and probably we'll see Bitcoin revisit the lower levels, which is around 60 to $61,500. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you think this support will be able to hold and are we going to get that bounce before this final drop, guys? So I'm, I'm still expecting this Wyckoff distribution phase to play out and also a possible shakeout before that final leg up guys so be extra careful trade only what you can afford to lose do your own research as always and trade safely protect your assets at all times and i'll see you guys on the next one bye bye